listen to this. Spy on me neighbor if you like. There's no one coming round here at night. Now I always thought that we were tight. Now look at you, we picking a fight. And I hate it when we fight. Don't you think I know? your business sailing in these here British waters? Oh, uh, we are French fishermen, sir. Fishing. You don't look much like fishermen to me. Oh, da. I mean that we, uh, we definitely are fishermen. Why do you have an East European accent? Um, I have cold. Uh, we, we're not from Eastern Europe. We French fishermen put in in English waters. See what I did there? Put in <laughs> English pun. You like? Why do you have a hammer and sickle on your tail fin? Oh, that! Oh, we buy boats second-hand from Russia. And most of your boat is under the water. Are you sinking? Is it? Oh, uh, yes. I see what you mean. Uh, I think we may have taken on water, but we'll be fine. You're not fishermen, are you? Hmm? Okay. All right. It's a fair cop you got us. We are Russian submarine probing UK's defences. <laughs> Oh, right you are. Okay. Carry on. <laughs> but if I catch you doing any fishing, we'll blow you out of the water. Thank you, Commander. Psst, Pierre, we'd better call it a day. We can do more fishing tomorrow, we? Oui? <laughs> ah, maybe, mon Capitaine. Hello, landlord. Good evening, Princess Diana. What can I get you? I'd like something smooth with a good head on it. Will Carling do? <laughs> Hello, my fellow Americans. I'm glad you could join me for a little fireside chat. You know, a lot of people are asking, if I was elected president, would I defund the police? Well, <laughs> you know, I've got a story for you. When I was a boy, my daddy took me for a walk in the park. Sun was shining, and fellows were taking their sweethearts for a day out on a penny farthing. And I saw a little yellow duck all lost and all alone. So we found a police officer, and he took that duck, and to the best of my knowledge, raised it as his own son. My daddy said to me, he looked down at me and he said, Joey boy, he said, community policing like that is what I fought the Civil War for. So you know what they say? Lovely weather for ducks. I'm Joe Biden, I think, and I endorse this message. Is it time for my nap? But what it says up there, 
Is that the message? What are you going to do? Ducks. Yeah, so this is football, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it was fun, you know, yeah. The other team played good and uh, so we could see the seven goals, yeah, it's good. Um, my defense did what I tell them. Uh, they keep a two meter social distance from the other team and no more than six at a time in the penalty area. <laughs> yeah. Ducks. As President of these United States of America, it falls to me to carry out the traditional presidential duty of pardoning the turkey. So great. So without further ado, by the power vested in me, I pardon for all his crimes this very large turkey. Hey you, you're forgiven. So great. Hello loves, it's me, your Auntie Vax. Now let's get straight to the letters, shall we? I've got a letter here from Timmy Peters, age six. Oh, that's what we like to see, young truth seekers. Dear Auntie Vax, I have been a very good boy this year, and I would like a bike, a new Lego set, and an iPad. Lots of love, Timmy. Oh, well, Timmy, it seems that this letter was actually meant for Father Christmas. An all-seeing operative of a foreign power, a pan-governmental freelance surveillance expert who has been making notes on all of us for centuries, a one-man Illuminati, a globalist. Santa is worse than the Masons and the Reptilians and all the socialists put together. If that wasn't bad enough, Timmy, you want an iPad track your every movement and hypnotise you with its YouTubes and its algorithms. Well, I'm sorry Timmy, but I may have been wrong about you. Yes. You seem to be a mindless drone just like the rest of them. Hope you enjoy your Lego though. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Times were mean back in 2016, there fell a Brexit fog. Nigel Farage and the Cummins campaign and a tough named Jacob Rees-Mogg. Lies were told by Boris and Gove and Cameron, he bowed down. But the wheels came off on Boris's bus and now we're blocking your town. Cause we got a Brexit convoy stuck in port all night. Yeah, we got a Brexit convoy sat here with frostbite. Join the Brexit convoy, we haven't moved all day. A truckin' stupid convoy from Dover to Calais. Brexit convoy. Roger 1010, this is the duck man calling. Looks like I'm spending another night in the boarding car park. That's a big leap means leap time for over now. Racist sucks and Twitter trolls, they began to have a ball. And you keep Tories told them plain, we're taking back control. Now it was clear that Project Fear backfired on this great nation. And angry folk who never spoke blamed it all on the immigration. Cause we got a Brexit convoy loaded with vaccine. Yeah, we got a Brexit convoy and cheese that's going green. Join the Brexit convoy, we're sat here getting piles. A trucking stupid convoy with tailbacks for miles. Brexit convoy. Robert Duck, still stuck on the M26. Got me Yogi Bird and got me Rita's wife. It's gonna be another long night. Ducky, over and out. Now 2020 was a mean old year. We're glad to see the back off. This Brexit deal is one big steal from Lisbon through to Krakow. The rows of trucks all standing still, backed up in England's garden. Made a toilet out of this pleasant land and gives the Tories one big heart on. Cause we got a Brexit convoy and shiny blue passports. Yeah, we got a Brexit convoy from Dover up to Cork. Join the Brexit convoy, your bitch is going rotten. 
A truckin' stupid cowboy Your boater ways were blocking Brexit cowboy Satisfaction in me A little bit prick, a little less dark Come next spring, the contrast stark Open up your mind like your own And immunize me Vaccinate me Uh-huh All you anti packs are stupid But the trunk those time you on the road to sleep And you anti mask is used to gotta use it Take a running jump off a shop here, please A little more vaccination A little less lockdown, please Scientists of every nation, they're the bees of knees. A little more joy, a little less snark. Let me have the jab, or soon I'll cock. Shut your mouth up your anti mask. You terrify me, toxify me. Oh, feel so long that we've been waiting. Get on board for vaccinating. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. The procrastinate, just coagulate Time to celebrate, let's all copulate A little less intubation A little more vaccine, please There's blood coagulation The satisfaction in me A little less fear A little more hope in the words of the kids Straight but stop, open up your mind Kick my home and vaccinate me Vaccinate me Vaccinate me, baby Oh, oh The name's Bond, James Bond. As you know, we've delayed the release of the Bond movie. But not only that, because of COVID-19, we've also changed the name. We're dropping the word no. Hello, you're watching Fox News with me, Ann Anchor. The political world is in turmoil following the death of Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. For more on this, let's go over to the White House and our reporter on the spot, Chad Valet. Hi, Chad. Hi, Ann. What was Joe Biden's reaction to the passing of Ginsburg, Chad? He was distraught, Ann. He said he'd been a big fan of Ginsburg for many years, and as a boy, he'd even bought a copy of her Howl poems. And how about Donald Trump, Chad? What were our beloved Fuhrer's thoughts on her passing? He was upset, Anne, but he made it clear he clashed with Ginsburg many times over their differences concerning the Supreme Court. Would that be because she was a passionate defender of the rights of the individual and freedom and equality for all? No, Anne. That would be because Trump wanted to change the court's name to the White Supremacy Court. Thanks, Chad. You've been watching Fox News, and I've been Anne Anchor. Good night. Welcome to I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. I'm Antor Deck, and so am I, like. <laughs> now, we're not in Australia because of the lurgy, so, so here we are outside a Welsh castle. <laughs> but don't worry, Dominic Cummings isn't on his way to test his eyesight, like. The question is, how are we going to come up with all of the awful things that we ask the celebrities to do on I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here? Oh, relax, Ant. It's all under control, like. So have you come up with a better idea to replace the celebrities parachuting into the camp? Well, catching the number 21 bus from Chester isn't as straightforward as you think, especially on pension day, like. Well, anyway, don't worry. I procured everything we need for the show from the local online well shopping service, Bonadicado. 
Well, so if you've got the crocodile's penises, the kangaroo's intestines, scorpion's venom and witchy grubs, well, we've had a few substitutions, like, now, you see the dead fly cake over there, like, oh, why, I, I looks champion, it's bad of breath, it's what? Well, you know, that, that first bush took a trail, like, <laughs> what, the one where two celebrities have their hands behind their backs and have to eat pig's testicles off a plate, like, it's now faggots, faggots, why, I, <laughs> very nutritious, it's perfect. Well, it's hardly shocking. It's like, I like the one where the celebrity is handcuffed to a table and forced to drink brains, liquidised, presumably. Oh, brains beer. What, man? Well, it's export strength, like. I just don't see this working out, like. People are never going to tune into this tame rubbish. Like you haven't heard the last one yet. We put the headphones on them. Oh, why, I And we mess yeah. up their minds when they hear their own voices on a delayed playback. No, 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 no. You see, then we put a cylinder on the shoulders. Oh, oh yeah, we pour hairy millipedes on them. Not exactly. We play this through the headphones, like... Oh, no, no, Oh, take us too much, like, you're on your own. I'm having no part of this. Oh, hello, the shite, man. What have you got against the Welsh male voice choir singing the Baby Shark song, like? Oh, I suppose that's what they call tier five then. Ooh. Did you used to work in the arts? Fed up with having no job, no money and no viable skills? Then why not retrain as a Tory cabinet minister? Earn shed loads of dosh for doing, well, not very much at all really. We'll give you complete training. How to blame firefighters, care home workers, immigrants. We'll show you how to take money from the poor, the disabled, the NHS, and give contracts to all of your friends. Apply today. And don't worry, if you really pulls up on the job, we'll just get you a job advising the ports for 100 grand a year for two minutes work. Or better still, promote you to head up MI5. Well, I'm kneeling down. Yeah, I decided to show solidarity with Black Lives Matter. So I've taken the knee. Ooh, good for you, Winnie. But that was over a week ago. It, you must have a real dedication and passion to maintain your protest for all this time. Oh, no, it's not that, Doris. I can't get up again. Ooh. Hello, Ern. You'll never guess who died. Arthur Negus? No, he's downstairs. Helen Reddy. No, she's still dressing. Andrew Preview, he's on the harp. Strings? No, the lager. All right, I'll give you a clue. He can sing in eight different keys, none of them the right one. OK, I'll give you another clue. First name, Des. Lynham? No, it's true. Oh. You're close, that's his middle name. All right, I'll give you another clue. When he sings, Battersea Dog's Home empties. His singing is so bad, hello, it's so bad, the Americans are using his record to get Trump out of the White House. Can we say that? Sorry, do we know you? It's me. Not now, Arthur. Don't look now, but I think Glenda Jackson's died. No, no, no. Eric, it's him. Stays O'Connor. Oh. Hello, Desperate. We've been expecting you, haven't we, Eric? Have we? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We have, actually. There's a cloud next to ours. You can move in if you like. Thanks, boys. Cue the song. Bring me sunshine in your smile. Bring me laughter all the while. In this world where we live, there should be more happiness. So, so much joy you can give to, to each brand new bright tomorrow. 
never make me happy Through the years, never bring me Never bring me any tears Let your arms be as warm As the sun from up above Bring me fun, bring me sunshine Bring love, bring me sunshine In your smile should be more happiness so much joy you can give to each brand new bright tomorrow make me happy through the years never bring me any tears let your arms be as warm as the sun from up above bring me fun bring me sunshine bring Bring me sunshine, bring me 